So help me out. I'm trying to figure out if this person is trolling or they're being serious. This person left a comment on my account that says, um, no one cares that you and your friends ended up in interracial marriages. Now, it's a blatant lie what their comment is, more than importantly, because the post mentions the fact that not all my friends ended up in interracial marriages. It's actually a big part of that post. But more importantly, it's kind of an example of this situation that I'm running into in which this is a person who simply is not qualified and shouldn't really be commenting on my post, but still feels confident and able to comment on my post, which is extremely weird. Um, now, I know people troll on the Internet and lie all the time. Um, in other words, like she's saying herself that she doesn't care and that no one cares when it's obvious that at least two people in the world care, myself and her, since she took time out to comment. Uh, but more importantly, this is a very kind of serious subject that I'm, I'm posting about that obviously quickly that you go to her profile, you can see that she should be able to understand. Now, she's um, pledging to be in a sorority. The post that she commented on is about my friends that I've had for about 30, 40 years um, who I have suddenly lost contact with um, and have no idea why. Now, this person hasn't even been alive for as long as I've known these people in real life, so it would only be able she would only be able to imagine, uh, let's say, her sorority sisters that she's pledging with, her friends and family, those that are around her right now. Fast forward 25, 30 years in the future, they suddenly just stop talking to you and you don't know a reason. That's the situation I'm in, and therefore I'm looking for help in trying to solve that because it is a really big deal. Uh, it's not as big a deal when you're in your 20s if people just suddenly stop talking to you, but when you're in your 40s, it is. And one of the reasons is, uh, example this. This is one of the letters that one of my friends wrote for me in kind of a, without going on too much of a tangent, in, in a kind of related court case. Now, I didn't ask them necessarily to write this letter. They actually wrote it completely on, on their own and wrote everything on their own. Um, this is the same person who currently right now not only isn't speaking to me, but is aware of the fact that their silence and they're not speaking to me not only puts myself, but my daughter in danger as well. Really kind of serious and odd situation. Uh, so when I post about it, um, it is because of that. It's a, it's a very serious and odd situation that does need to, I do need to address both as a person, as a man, as a father, um, as a black man. There's a lot of different questions as to why these people would simply not just disregard my life, but also their life as well. In other words, they're kind of, they're making it seem as if the last 20, 30 years of my life and their life as far as the way it interacts with the, theirs, simply isn't even relevant or never even existed. Um, really, really, again, odd situation. Um, so uh, this person really shouldn't be commenting as it is. But more importantly, it's obvious that they should be able to understand why they even mentioned that they had a racist incident in their sorority. <clears throat> And yet they're trying to quell me uh, speaking about racist incidents that I've experienced as well as trying to just find help for myself and my daughter. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and so I do need kind of just help in perspective and understanding as to uh, what possible reasons people may have um, for kind of uh, justifying this person's behavior. Because um, at least that could help me kind of maybe address it and try to prevent it from the future.